Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another talk through Plan With Me and my Hobonichi cousin. This is for the week of January 18th through 24th. And I'm going to be using this kit from my shop. It is birthday themed. So my birthday was not this week. My birthday was actually the next week. But I have a couple of birthday kits in the shop and I wanted to use multiple. So I decided to go ahead and use one this week. I think this kit is super cute. I love the purples and pinks. And for my pin this week, I'm using a Zebra Sarasa. I'm not sure what the point on this is, but it's a pretty fine point. I really like it. So, let's go ahead and get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do is... the sidebar. Okay, I hope you're zoomed in enough. I did a little bit of finagling around with it because I'm still getting used to the setup. Anyway, I think I might put a full box up here because uh, I normally have quite a bit of extra space in the sidebar, so I think I'll use... It wasn't actually my birthday, so I don't think I'll use this one, but I think I will use this cute one with the phone on it. I like this purplish background. So I'm going to put that down. And then under that, I'm going to write one of the Bible verses that I read this week that really stuck out to me. It is the lost sheep section from Matthew chapter 18, verses 12 and 13. So I'm going to write that down really quickly. Okay, so that's written down, and as you probably saw, um, I messed up my writing a little bit because of the stickers that are underneath. It makes the paper kind of textured. And um, I do actually have a pencil board. Oh, hello. You can't see the reflection. Okay. I do have a pencil board, but I don't like to use it. I just can't get used to the, like, the, the, the tough feeling underneath the paper because I'm one of those people that really, really likes to write on a big stack of paper. I don't like to write on just one sheet of paper on a hard surface. But I also don't like messing up my writing. <laughs> so we may be um, experimenting with that in future episodes of Plan with Amber. Anyway, that is done. As I was writing it down though, I thought that maybe next week I will take a highlighter and highlight some of the important keywords are the um, verse chapter and verse itself just to add a little bit more color to the sidebar. I don't want to go over it with a highlighter because it'll probably smear so next week I'll try to remember to go in first and highlight and then write over it. You guys will <laughs> be able to see if I actually do that or not. So now I'm going to start planning my actual week. Zoom you in just a bit more, and then I think I'll do the date covers first, and then I'll put down my washi strips, and we'll go from there. I still haven't made date covers to fit these little squares, so I am just going to write everything in. And I might actually use the second washi strip where it's supposed to go this week uh, because the colors contrast pretty well and otherwise I don't use that space at the top. I thought about putting the weather or something like that or maybe marking like how many hours I worked. But I don't know. I don't need to mark habits there because I do have a habit tracker at the front of this 
planner. I will show it to you in just a second here. I set it up in my set of video for this planner and I really, really like this. I'm definitely going to do it again next month. It's just interesting to go back and look and see <laughs> what I did or didn't do each day. It's also really satisfying on days where you do all of your habits. I really like that. So I'm going to keep my habits at the front of the planner, I think. I want to have a full 10 though. I only have six right now. And throughout the month, I've been trying to think of other things I could track. Nothing's really come up, but I might try to just invent a few things. Okay, there are my date covers down. And let's see. So here are the other washi strips, the thicker ones. And these are actually sized to fit right up here. I don't know, I feel like it would be... Oh, let's just try it. If I don't like it this week, I can. I don't have to do it anymore, but I would like to try it and see what I think. So there's one side. I am putting it a little bit over the, whoops. I am putting it a little bit over the five because I don't get up that early, so I don't need the five o'clock hour, plus I don't, I don't use this chronologically. Well, I, I plan chronologically, but I don't pay exact attention to the times. Okay, there is our top washi. Let's go ahead and put down our tiny and cute weekend banner, which I will, I'll put it down here this week. Okay, now we'll do our bottom washi strips, which I usually do around one, it looks like. Oh wait, let me put down the Winstons and then that will tell me how far up or down I need to put this. We recently had mini Winstons back in the shop for a little bit. So I did go ahead and make some for myself to use in my Hobonichi. It's a little too far to the right, but I'm not gonna peel it up because I did rip this paper accidentally. Uh, yesterday actually in one of the daily pages I was journaling and I tried to pull up a sticker and it, <laughs> it destroyed that page so I'm not gonna bother with that today anyway there's the base of my spread done so now we can start with Monday so hmm. I have some work stuff to do in the morning. The first thing I get to do was, okay, so I had some work stuff to do in the morning. The first thing I needed to do was end our sale we were having. I'm going to mark that with a little push pin Winston. This one came with the kit. And then I need to do voiceover and pre-upload my video. So I think I'm going to use a half box for that. Let's use, maybe not. Maybe I'll just put it down. Let me get a filming sticker. Or really I need like a microphone sticker. I don't have one of those yet. I have to put that on my list of to-dos. Okay, I'll probably use a YouTube Winston. He is quite versatile, and I will use this light purple one, I think. thought about doing a video on 
my thoughts and impressions on my, my Hobonichi so far, but I kind of give them in every video I do, so <laughs> I don't want it to be repetitive. <laughs> But I also kind of wanted to film myself setting up my planner for February because I do like to go in in advance and set up the daily pages. But again, not sure if that would be interesting to y'all, but I definitely am curious and welcome your feedback. Okay, the next thing I did, and that took up most of the day, was work on my birthday samplers. So I think I will use this after all, but I'm going to put it like this. to mark off all the time and then I'm going to take a drawing sticker. I will use one of these cute little iPads from Carrots and Olives. It's pink which is really adorable. Oh that's cute. I have the phone and the iPad right together. Okay and then I'll just write in work on beauty samps all day. All right, and after work, oh yeah, I was, I was still crocheting headbands at the time. Uh, let me show you guys what I was doing. So I got really into making these headbands. I don't even remember where I saw this at, but I saw one, I was like, oh, I really need to make myself one of those. So I started making them. They're really fun to make. And uh, I made them with this like stretchy yarn. So they're kind of fun to pull on. Uh, but I got really into making these and they're for like four or five days, I just sat and made, these, made, made several of these because they work up really quickly, probably in like two hours. I'll see if Ashley can put in a picture of how they look on, but uh, I just wanted to mention it because I might mark that a few times in this video. Anyway, let me grab a crochet sticker. Oh, I, I have to use these. These are, these are like so perfect and I hardly ever get to use them. Yes, definitely going to use one of these little girls because it matches this color scheme so well. That is from Stick with the Plan Co. This pen writes really smoothly on this paper. I like it a lot. Okay, then I did some yoga. I've been really into yoga lately, but that is a new phenomenon for me. So I don't have a lot of yoga stickers yet. As a result, I will use this happy day a yoga girl that I have been using continuously for a couple of weeks now. I do like her, I just like to have variety in my spreads as y'all know. And then in the evening I just read so well, I did some more crocheting but I don't think I need to mark that twice in one day. But I will mark reading. So let me find a book sticker that I like. I don't really want to use another character right here, so I'm going to take um, this darker purple book sticker from Planner-esque and a script sticker also from Planner-esque. Let me move this over a little bit. And stack those like that. Okay. 
And then let's fill in my Bible study and my dinner. So it was Matthew 16. All right, and that is Monday done. So on Tuesday morning, uh, the first thing I needed to do was to put the, the, the okay, for dinner we're gonna have pulled pork, so I needed to put that in the crock pot right away when I got up, so I do not have a crock pot sticker. Okay, I, this is very funny. I made crock pot stickers for myself to go on my Amber's favorite sampler for the birthday event, and I did not make myself <laughs> a sheet of those stickers. Okay, so let me get just like a fork and knife or something. Or cooking. Cooking would be good for this, right? Of course. Come on, Amber. Use your brain. So, I have these tiny little etchies from Peaceful Mind Design. And I think I'll stack that on top of a... One of these... I call them two-tone labels. I don't know if they have a name, but I think I'm going to stack one on that. I guess I'll just write like put put start dinner in crock pot. By the way, do you guys call that a slow cooker or a crock pot? Because uh, where I grew up, everyone calls them crock pots. I never heard the term slow cooker until um, I was older and, you know, interacted with more people. But I think it's more common to call it a slow cooker. I'm from North Carolina, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, then after that, uh, for work this day, I needed to fill orders. Let's put down a nice pink half box and see if we can find some fill order stickers. I think I'm going to use one of these, probably the little mouse because it'll match really well, and one of these scripts that I make for myself. Okay, perfect. After that, I needed to do some designing. So, here's some work stickers from Happy Daya. I use one of those. I still haven't gotten tabs. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, y'all are probably so sick of seeing these little bunnies. I promise one day I will get some. I also thought about making my own because I can't quite find exactly what I'm looking for. If I do make them, I might make a video on how I made them. So that'd be kind of interesting. And here I want to mark that I finished the Amber's Favorite Sampler. So let me see if I can find a list maker in the right color. This light purple should work fine. There we 
we go. And I also had to go to the post office this day. I want to use these from Sticker Fever. They're pretty big, especially for the hobo, but I think they're super cute. So what I'm gonna do is stack one like this. Then I have these scripts from Sugar Pop Fizz. So I'm gonna put one underneath that. And then I'm gonna try and find an arrow sticker for myself. See if I can do something like that. Okay, perfect. So, sticker fever, sugar pop fizz, and the arrow is from my shop. All right. In the evening, I did more yoga, but I don't want to mark it the exact same way. So I'll just use like a weight sticker, I guess. I have these from Planner Ask, so I'm going to take this one with the little pink one, little pink weights. And I think I'm actually going to put that on the background. It's kind of bare. So let's use, let's use a scallop label. Oops. Okay, we'll stack that right there, and then we'll write yoga. And I have basically nothing to mark for the rest of the day, so I'll just fill in my Bible study and dinner. This week is going to be a little bit sparse because I was doing a lot of work prepping for the birthday event at NPC. Okay, so on Wednesday I needed to film early in the morning. So that means I get to use one of my favorite filming stickers. This one from Piper Paper Company. I kind of want to put it on the background though. No, maybe I don't. Do I? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did these live so y'all could comment and tell me what I should do because I'm thinking about putting it like this. I wish this wasn't square because this is like squared off. Do I have, let me see if I have a watercolor swatch or something to stack it on. I have this purpley one. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not feeling that, I guess. So I'll just put it maybe on a label of some sort. No, I'll just put it down plainly. I'm so sorry <laughs> I dragged y'all through that. But anyway, it's done now. Okay. So film plan with me. I also wanted to start posting sneaks this day because I had I don't think I'd posted like a single one 
about the birthday, the whole birthday event. So let me see if I have an Instagram sticker in my leftovers binder. I believe that Instagram sticker is from Alley Cat's shop, but I'm not 100% sure because it did come out of my leftover stickers binder. Anyway, so film, then post sneaks. After that, I need to order paper and mailers. Let me see if I have a box sticker. All right, I've got another little box sticker. This is also from my leftover binder. I think I'm gonna put down a little flag. Oh, I'll move it down a bit. And then do some layering, cute. Okay, then I need to print and file my receipts. <laughs> the best part of owning your own business, of course. And I'm going to use this tiny computer Winston that comes with the kit. Also on a flag, I think. And then finally for work that day, I wanted to do some more designing, which I think I might also put on something. By the way, I love not having a coil. I don't think I've mentioned that yet, but not having a coil in your planner is the best thing ever. And for this designing, I think, yes, I think I'm going to layer this. I take a quarter box, and then this is from Very Cute Designs. And that takes care of work for Wednesday. So I did some more yoga. And then on the side, I had a bad sinus headache, so my evening kind of got thrown a little bit. Let's see. Okay, to mark yoga, I'm going to use this little shoe from Alley Cat's shop. And then this kit comes with a little headache Winston, so I'll use... Did you even see that? I will use him to mark my sinus headache. I don't know about y'all, but sinus headaches are like the worst for me. It just makes me feel so awful and icky. Alright, and then yeah, like I said, that's going to be basically the end of my day, because <laughs> unfortunately I really wasn't feeling well. Let me fill out the bottom bar here. And now we'll go to Thursday. Unfortunately, Thursday's gonna be more of the same. I feel like this is such a boring video. Okay, so main task of the day of the day was designing again. 
So, I want to use one of these little so much to do stickers, but the color's a little bit too bright for this spread, so I'll have to save those for another day. So to mark designing, I think I'm gonna use another of these Fox and Cactus rabbit stickers because I'm already pulling in quite a bit of brown. So how do I want to do this? I think I'll just write it. I think I'll stack it like this and then write it underneath. And then after designing, of course, it was time to print and cut. Well, test print and cut. <laughs> see how things were going so I think I'll use another half box turned long ways that's a little off kilter but I'm gonna just be okay with it and then I'm gonna take I think one of these printers from Murdoch Talks let's go with this light purple one Okay, that was basically my day, except at the very end of the day, I did some reading, so <laughs> I guess I'll mark that. I'm gonna use this cute little girl from Stick With The Plan Co. Now we get to go to Friday. All right, today I'm gonna need a checklist, but before that, I kinda wanna put down a little like busy sticker, just for fun. So I know I have some from Kina Prints. Let me see if I can pull one out. I know I said I was gonna use the Kita Prints one, but these are really calling to me right now for some reason. So this is from Happy Daya. I'm gonna stack it up here so it'll go onto the washi a little bit. And then take a checklist. I think I'll use a dark one.
All right, that's the first thing taken care of. And actually, that's gonna pretty much cover my work day. Um, so, after work this day, I finished my other headband. The, the blue, like, teal colored one I showed you, that was actually the second one I made. So that was the one I finished on this day. And I'll use another one of these little girls, because it's super cute and I never get to use them. And after that, I need to go get some groceries, so I think I'll use a half box for that. I kind of want to space this day out a little bit more to balance out the spread. Oh no, darn. Oops, that's totally my fault. Okay. Let's be very careful now. still off center. <laughs> okay, that's better. I kind of want to wipe that out. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, that makes me happier. Now I'm going to try and not touch it anymore. Right, let's get some grocery stickers. I'm going to use one of these little grocery stickers from Erica G Designs. And then I did some more reading in the evening. I think I used this light blue label and just put it down here. And I'll find a little blue, or blue, a little book of some sort. It might be a blue book, I don't know yet. I'm actually going to use this purple book from Funerask along with another one of the scripts that I showed you earlier. Alright, and there is Friday. Okay, so Saturday, as usual, I slept in on these days, so let's go ahead and get those marked. I think I will use one of these on Saturday, and then one of these little rabbits, purple one maybe, on Sunday. So cute. Those are super old school Kina friends. I love those stickers. And then I did <laughs> uh, work on this day, quite a lot of work. So I kind of want to mark it a little bit differently to be more interesting. Let's see, so. All right, I'm going to put down a checklist first. And I need 
to mark, let's see. I need to finish the spring fling kit, which is already in the shop if you're interested. Then I needed to finalize the freebies. Uh, do some more graphics. And then set up codes for the different discounts. All right. Oh, and I did some laundry <laughs> while I was doing all that. I just threw in some laundry, so. I don't know why I really like to mark doing laundry now. I think it's because I have my own washer dryer and I don't have to like go to my mom's house to do laundry anymore. So we'll mark that with a little etchy. And then, ah uh, yes, okay, on this day, um, this day I got like, I think three or four emails from customers about missing orders, which makes me sad because I, of course, want y'all to have your orders right away and efficiently. And it really was upsetting me because I, I can do nothing about, once I drop them off at the post office, that's it, I, I have no control over it anymore. Um, so when people message me that their order is lost or it's late, um, I just feel so bad because I can't help them. So on this day, it just kind of bummed me out because I had like several emails from people about their missing orders. I think they're all sorted out now though. It makes me happy. But to mark that, I'm going to take a little shrugging Winston with his like little concerned eyebrows because I was concerned let me tell you Okay, after that, I helped Ashley make dinner, which was fun. So to mark that, I'm going to take a little utensil sticker from my shop, along with one of these dark blue two-tone labels, or darker blue, I should say. And then after dinner, Ashley and I were bumping around on YouTube. And we happened to notice that the entirety of Threat Level Midnight is on YouTube, which if you don't know, that is a uh, kind of a it's, a, it's a fake movie from the TV show The Office. So we decided to watch the entire thing. It's only like half an hour long. And that was really, really fun. If you're a fan of The Office and you have not seen the entirety of Threat Level Midnight, I highly suggest you go check it out. I don't have any movie marquees size for this planner yet, unfortunately. I need to make those. Um, so I think I might use just like a TV sticker. Yes, I will just take one of these little purple TVs from Fox and Cactus. To mark threat level midnight. Right. And 
than I just read. So I kind of want to move this. It's the spacing is awkward. Oh, it's gonna rip. Okay, no, I don't want to move it anymore. Okay, <laughs> so back to marking reading. All right, on to Sunday. So, on Sunday, I finished the laundry that I started on Saturday. So I will mark that. I'll just pull in another etchy. And I'll go ahead and stack, oh darn, I just ripped that sticker, okay. Guess I won't use that sticker. <laughs> Instead, I will use, let's see, I'll use this pink one. All right. finish the laundry and then I'm gonna say I actually went out to lunch with my mom and my sister so I'm gonna mark that with a half box I think I'm going to use one of these eating stickers from Grin and Bear at Plans and trim it a little bit. It's kind of big. He's really cute though. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and then when I got home, I did a bunch of cleaning, organizing, like did the dishes and all that stuff because the, I don't know why, my apartment was a bit messy. You, you know what, I'm sure it's because I was so busy with work this week that I just did not do my housework properly, so I did it all on this, on this day. To mark that, I'm actually going to take this little, uh, like, de decluttering girl, I guess. Or, I don't know, is this for, like, a yard sale? I'm not sure. I'm going to use it for decluttering. <laughs> or maybe it's for thrifting. I'm not sure, but either way. And then I wrote down that I did a bunch of dishes, so I guess I will mark that since apparently I did so many. And I have these little, I have these dishes stickers, these are from Planner Girl stickers. I don't really mark my chores like this, but I wrote it down today for some reason. And I do have quite a few stickers for miscellaneous chores like these. I bought these a long time ago <laughs> when I was, you know, new to planning and I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to be marking and stuff, but it came in handy just now. And in the evening, I had some hot cocoa and I also did some reading, so... Hot cocoa stickers, I know I have. Let me 
find those. I think I used this little penguin one from Very Cute Designs. to mark reading I'm gonna take this little book stack from Alley Cat's shop and just write that in okay so that is gonna finish up my week a little bit more bare than recent weeks but that's okay let me show you how it turned out. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go back and fill this in with washi or some deco or full boxes. But for now, that is my spread. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.